Hermanos, nos encontramos en un especial de lujo, una de las figuras más importantes en la historia de la música contemporánea. Se encuentra de visita con nosotros. Es un verdaderísimo placer poder platicar con Mr. Noel Gallagher. First of all, it's an honor. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much. Cool. Now, first of all, congr congratulations. Uh, High Flying Birds is an amazing, an amazing album. But tell us, what could be the biggest lesson that this album so far has given to you? The biggest lesson? Um, I don't know. How was the experience about? Well, the experience was amazing. It's an ongoing experience. You know, I've been this. I've been working on this for two years. The second two years now. So it's all good. But I don't know whether I've learned anything. I knew quite a lot before I started. So, but I guess I've learned to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Tell us. Tell us. How do you feel to to play with such a loyal fans? Well, it's amazing to come to a place like Mexico, which couldn't be further away from Manchester, where I come from. To have my songs sung with such passion by fans who, uh, you know, it's amazing. It was truly incredible. And um, it's a very special place, Mexico, with special people. And uh, it's one place I look forward to coming to a lot. Uh, I like it so much, I even come on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and now, talking, I mean, you are Noel Gallagher, so when everybody uh, start noticed that you start uh, creating an, uh, a solo project, a lot of people start expecting a lot of things of you. And of course, you delivered a great, great album, but at the beginning of the creating process, do you feel that pressure? No. It's only music. No. Just write songs, put them out, people like them, then they like them. If they don't, then they don't. You know, it's, I don't. I don't really perceive it in that in those terms. When I was writing and recording this record, I I don't care what people expect. Do you know what I mean? I don't care if people think anything about. If they like it, then that's great. And I'd rather people like it than not like it. But if they don't like it, that's great too. You're not supposed to like everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've never worried about if one album is going to be more successful than another. I don't care. I don't care what people say. As long as I like it and it makes me feel something, I think other people will like it because they've liked everything I've done in the past. So there you go. Do you do you already uh, gonna gonna decide to put another single for this album, or you're just gonna wait and and release no, it? Uh, well, it depends. Where are we in the world? We're in Mexico. What's what's the current single? If I had a gun, dream on, uh, the dead of you and me, and AKA. Yeah, there's another single to come. Which one is it? I can't tell you that. It's gonna be a surprise. Not really. Because <laughs> <laughs> you'll have heard it before. Am I allowed to? No, I'm not allowed to say. That's for that's for someone else to say, isn't it? But um, yeah, I'm doing a video for it in a couple of weeks. Mm. Do you like your videos? I like doing these videos. The solo videos have been great. I used to fucking hate doing Oasis videos because all we would ever do is play the guitar and mime. I hate that because it's just a long day miming to a song, and you get to listen to the song so many times that at the end of it, you fucking hate it. But on, on these videos, I just said to the guy, look, whatever I'm doing, I'm not singing and I'm not playing. I'll be in it. Briefly, I'll be in it, you know. And, and uh, they're not strictly videos for the singles. I don't think any of the videos have got anything to do with the songs. So, I have enjoyed being in them. There's lots of girls in the videos. The last one was good. <laughs> Do you get involved with the with the girls? With the image? No, with the girls. I'm married. No, now. I <laughs> can't get involved with the girls. <laughs> no, with the idea of the videos. No, no. They send it to me and say, "Do you like this?" And I go, "It's all right." Cool. Would you like at some point to do a score for a movie? I wouldn't mind doing a like. I'd, I'd love to. I think all the great films have been made, though. It'd have to be a great film. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would have loved to have done the score for, uh, like a spaghetti western. Okay. And I guess the modern equivalent of that would have been uh, No Country for Old Men, do you know what I mean? I would have loved to have done something like that. But no one, no, no one ever asks. It would be amazing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, have you seen that film by uh, Jim Jarmusch with Johnny Depp in called Dead Man? Yeah. Neil Young does the soundtrack. I'd love to do something like that. But, you know, the phone never rings. 
<laughs> Now,、uh, at the Enemy Award, you, you give the,、uh, they give you the award for、uh, Godlike Genius. How do you feel with that name, Godlike Genius? I mean, I'm comfortable with it. Everyone else is. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a bit of fun in it. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Thank you. I guess they were bestowing an award on my music. Not really. Doesn't. Doesn't really. Wasn't for me. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for Oasis, I wouldn't be getting it. So, you know, I don't. Well, do you songwrite? Yeah, but they, yeah, but they're not. They're not. They would then give it. They didn't give it to me because of the High Flying Birds album. Oh yeah. yeah. They gave it to me because of what I'd done in 20 years. But that's cool. I enjoyed it. I had a great. I had a great day out, and、um, I've got the award downstairs. It's on top of my amps. I shall. I shall take it round the world and show it to people. You know, and.、Uh, What can I say? Now at the Brit Awards, you were talking with、uh, David Alman. How can you describe the relationship with, with you and them? Well, we're both in our forties now. Do you know what I mean? Elder statesman of Brit pop. It's very cool. I like him. Uh, talking about、um, the adventure of being in touch with different cultures, did you imagine at some point to have that opportunity? Not many people in the world have that opportunity that you have. No, no. Well, it's a gift. It's a great thing, isn't it? You know, to travel the world and play play your guitar and meet all wonderful people in, in you know great great places around the world is something that. It's very special, and not many people get to do it. Lots of people are in bands. Lots of people get to play around their own country. Not a lot of people get to go on big world tours and go all over the place. You know,、um, it's like I'm going to Paraguay in a couple of weeks. I don't know anyone that's ever been to Paraguay. <laughs> anyone? I'm looking forward to that, and I just, just, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. Now it surprised you how much have changed the music industry since since the time of Oasis. If you compare it right now, oh yeah, yeah. Well, the internet changed everything. You know, Te music didn't. Re music hasn't really changed. Technology has changed. So the way you buy records has changed, and now we're starting to see music being tailored for the digital age. Now music is beginning to change, and not. It's not getting any better. One would have to say. No, I'm agreeing. You know, there's been two great bands to come out of England in the last. I'd say in the last ten years, and that's Arctic Monkeys and Kasabian. There's two bands in ten years. The previous ten years, there was Blur, Oasis, Coldplay. You know, the Libertines. There was like fucking six or seven. Do you know what I mean? Two in ten years is. It's the way it's going, though. It's the way it's going. Do you think that technology make the new bands more lazy? That they don't feel that warrior side of let's playing around every city? Well, I don't know about that. You'd have to speak to the individuals in the new bands. I, I mean, I come from a different era. You know what I mean?、Yeah. I, I, I was born in the '60s, and I, my band was in the '90s. This was all our the big stuff that we did took place before the internet. So you're asking the wrong person. But I don't know. It's a funny old thing, the internet. And now, with with this、uh, new new material, you start working with new technology. Do,、yeah. you, do you feel comfortable? Yeah. It's there、hard. you go. Yeah, you can't. You. Is it hard? Well, I don't. You mean in the studio? Yeah. I don't. I don't get involved in any of this shit. <laughs> I don't do any. I sit and play the guitar and drink fucking tea and you know eat crisps and order people around. I don't. That's for, that's for fucking knobheads doing that. I don't do that. That's for idiots. So yeah. Well, so technology is like. No, let someone else. Just a tool, but not not. Smoke cigarettes, drink tea, and relax a bit. Play the guitar. That's it. All that. That's dog shit. It, and now、uh, the last two questions that I have for you, and a lot of people want to know: Do you see yourself doing something again for Oasis at some day? I don't mean this person to see, but I resent being asked that question every time I do a fucking interview because, you know, it's over. Okay. And if it was ever going to start again, I wouldn't be announcing it on Mexican television. Okay. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, but all of your fans are. Like, well, I don't care what they want to know. I don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck. If people want to see Oasis, I don't give a fuck. Do you know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a callous way. We were going for 20 years. If people never seen us, it's tough shit. <laughs> yeah. I never seen the Beatles. I never seen the Sex Pistols. I never seen the Kinks, and I never seen the Rolling Stones. So fucking live with it, you know. And if one day we get back together, great. If we don't, then great. The phone's not ringing. How are you? How are you? Nobody's sending anybody text messages. The phone's not ringing. And no, I don't think anybody cares anymore. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Well, and and now the last question. If you could dedicate one song, any song in the world, to Liam, which song would you choose and why? Do you know the nursery rhyme? The wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> that, that one. Yeah. I think you'd enjoy it. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much. It's an amazing, an amazing album. And, and I mean, your career is great. You're a great songwriter. And good luck with the new EP. I, mean, I know it's going to be awesome. Thank you very much. Ya lo vieron, hermanos grandes, entre los grandes, el señor Noel Gallagher. Ya no te Continuamos con más. Hay que le sea leve. Chao.